Good morning. I hope you're really well. Um, now, not jumping on the bandwagon of what my facial skincare is at the moment, but more um, answering a few people who have asked me what my skincare secrets are, which I'm highly flattered of. And um, I was like, well, it's really it's really difficult for me to say like there's there's one or two secrets because there's actually quite a lot. So I said, maybe I should make a video and just show you. I have done this before. I showed you around my oils, my oils and serum collection, which is quite vast, but actually is, is, is forever changing. So I thought that I would show you what's current on my um, skincare and a few little gadget hacks that I use. So I thought that um, I would kick off with just a little bit of a morning ritual because there's sort of like my morning rituals and then my evening rituals and they, they're slightly different. And there are some things that I've run out of and some things new that I've got since I last, um, since I last did my skincare hacks. Um, the latest, not the latest, but since um, January, I joined Walida. So a lot of it is Walida at the moment. Walida being Walida. Walida, Walida. Oh, Walida. So let me talk about Walida. So Walida, and I, I, I've done a video about that already, but I thought I'd just show you my, um, where's the, here. They brought out this new, uh, skin food skin care range so beforehand it was just skin food uh, cream uh, they called it a rich incentive skin care for face and body this one's quite thick and then they have a light I've just taken the, the, the cut the top off it so I can access the inside of the tube but uh, this this is the light and so I would use the light in the morning and the original in the evening but this is really nice and so I've got I've got a few cleansers on the go at the moment in that I've got this skin food cleanser balm it's really nice I'll, I'll wash my face with this in a second so I'll show you but I also have the very lovely Dr Hauschka I mean Dr Hauschka's cleansing cream it's actually quite sort of like a microfoliant and I use that. It's got a bit of a, a scrub in it, if you like. It's got, um, I think it's, I think it's oat, I think. Uh, I could be wrong, but this is um, their cleansing day cream. And it's, uh, it's a really gentle, you know, I use this more in the evening because it's got that slight microfoliant. Um, there's also, there's also from Pie, nearly finished, an oil. I like a little skin cleansing oil. Why not? I found, again, that's really quite luxurious on the skin. And if I've had a sort of day of, if I've got some makeup on, not that I, I don't wear very much makeup, but say that I have got any makeup on, be it a little bit of um, blush um, or that's all, that's all I wear. Because, yeah, but anyway, that an oil's nice. It's, sort of take, it's a little bit of a, a deeper cleanse, but they're all deep cleanses. Um, I haven't got it here, but I also use sometimes the um, Tropic Cleanser, but that's that's not here. Um, and then what else? Oh, I'll tell you what I do have. Oh, my God, this is, this is great. This, if this is my go to hack, if you cannot be asked to wash your face, um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a one step, a one step cleanser and toner deeply cleanses and tones for normal to combination. It's like a little milk. And sometimes if I'm tired and I can't be asked to wash my face, this is brilliant. It smells gorgeous as well. It smells glorious. Um, and uh, it's like a milk. You just wash your face and get a nice hot cloth and it's done. So this is actually great. Now downstairs, I'm actually doing a facial this morning and I've got some Walida products downstairs that I'm using. There is a cleansing milk and a toner and um, there's also a, a sort of beautiful cleansing um, foam that's really nice from Walida, but they're all set up on my station ready for my facial this morning. But that is a brilliant, let me just show you that. This is all available in my shop, not that I'm I'm not doing any pushy advertising, but that is available there. Um, some will need things you can get in the high street, but some you can't. So if you do need anything that you can't get hold of, do let me know. So I'm just trialing at the moment this um, balm from Walida. Also, what I do use is I've got a Neil's Yard eye makeup remover if I've got my mascara on. But you know, some of these cleansers do this, do do all of it. 
So this lovely Walida balm, you just need a little tiny bit. It's like a little balm like that. And um, I'm going to just put it into my hands and then just spread it on. And this has got the signature, I can't remember what they are now, but chamomile, rosemary, violet, violet leaf. Um, it smells so good. I think they put some additional, I've just dipped my fingers in some water and I'm going to let it down now. They've put some additional um, formulation ingredients into it. Look, see, I do my eyes as well. Nice. Let's take it off. So it's really easy. It's really easy. I like it. I like the smell. I like it. It's, it's quite light. There's a school of thought that doesn't like, who was it? I can't remember who it was that uh, I watched that said, don't use cloths on your face. They're just no cloth washing. I think it was uh, part of what I was watching, the seven, what was it called? The seven skin method. And the seven skin method is about hydrating and putting toner on seven times onto your skin. But they were doing like a no cloth. They were talking about a no cloth wash. I quite like a cloth. I've switched to these really little cloths recently rather than a big, a big cloth. I just like the, that these little, just a little cloth is better. Um, and they're made of nice, gentle bamboo. So that's, oops, where am I looking there? <laughs> so that's my cleanser. I don't want to take too much of your time doing the products, but I just thought I'd show you that nice balm um, and it has got has it got off my yeah it's got off my the residue of any mascara so this this seven seven skin method means that you this is um that you basically hydrate your skin seven times sometimes i haven't got time to do seven layers uh, so you do a three skin method that's uh, that was a nice tropic toner that was a nice tropic toner and you can do that once, twice. I also like, I don't think I've got them loaded here, but I've got a Neil's Yard a white tea and Neil's Yard frankincense mists. They're really nice. And then I like to put on, I've also got a tropic essence. This is called their Juicy Greens. This is an essence. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of that on as well. Just splash that on. Part of the the layering of hydration. Oh, I've got my dogs here. Oh, thank you. Everything okay? Everything okay? Just having a chat in the background. Okay, so that's my hydration. And then goes on the serums. So the serums, have I got any here? I've got different serums. I mean, serums is, it's bonkers, the, ser the serum world up here. So um, I've got a vitamin C serum that I've been using from Neil's Yard. It's called a vitamin C brightening boost, but um, so many places, Evolve, Tropic. And I've also got um, the serum from Environment that I'm going to show you. But I've got this sort of, this is, I think this is what it is. It's suspended in aloe vera juice, which is fantastic, actually. Really good formulation foundation is aloe vera juice and then the vitamin c which is a nice antioxidant replenishment from any free radicals that take away your vitamin c um and then i've got a i've got a, a little bit of tropic rainforest dew here that's a botanical hyaluronic acid um I've got that and I've also got um, an Evolve Hyaluronic Serum and well I love Barbara Sturm her products but they're £75 a bottle thank you very much so this Evolve I think is 30 they've got really nice formulations the Hyaluronic from Tropic well it's £40 but if you buy the whole kit it um 
you save a lot of money basically you save about 60 pounds if you buy a, a full kit and uh if you wanted to buy any tropic as well you can certainly ask me to get some order for you so that's the hyaluronic acid which is really good hydro boost it's uh, locks in hydration so for me my my goal and my aim of all my um products is is hydro boost to keep good hydration um i'm not going to be able to show you well i'll show you some of the gadgets in a minute um but i'm just going to show you the products for now this is also well either do this cactus or a prickly pear and if you think about the cactus or the prickly pear plant that retains a lot of moisture um it's able to to um retain moisture have i got any more in there oh there is a bit actually um then this is also a very it acts as a botanical hyaluronic acid so it's a very good super hydrating formulation this is the cactus plant nice so you can see it's just layers of hydro boosting of putting more you can you can layer your serums and i don't put tons on i'm just showing you just showing you a selection of, of what i've got um i probably put two on two or three on um, and then there's also a hyaluronic acid from there is no that's a facial oil there is a hyaluronic hydrating boost from neil's yard as well these are quite pricey but uh but nice very very nice indeed let's move on to then i put on so yeah the moisturizer so i've got a new, this new i'm trying the new walida skin food moisturizer uh, i'll talk about masks as well in a minute but I'm just, oh, it's quite thick. It's quite thick, thank you very much. So it, this has got, instead, whereas the Skin Food is also a fantastic moisturiser and the Skin Food Light is brilliant in the daytime because it's not so heavy. If you find that the Skin Food is too thick or you don't like a thick moisturiser, then the Skin Food Light is definitely the one for you. But this moisturiser, it is quite light. Oh, it smells great. It's got this sort of chamomile and rosemary. They've also put some additional formulations. I haven't got my glasses with me, so I won't be able to tell you. And I don't want to take your time trying to squint and read. But uh, the formulations are all on their website and uh, uh, really, really gorgeous. Uh, they're all herbal, botanical, natural clean green beautiful products so i highly recommend the skin food range and that's the, that's the skin food moisturizer that i'm using at the moment it's lovely now for me it feels like not mm, i i like a little oil at the end and then i mean my range of oils is just phenomenal i do like tropic oils i've got their elixir and their super greens these are fantastic i love them super green is probably my if i had to have one on an island with me my desert island would be if i had to go to a desert island i'd take that or maybe i'd take the light and that i don't know actually hmm. Hmm. take both these would be my go-to if i had to select my moisturizers um Ooh, I haven't told you about Environ. Now, Environ, I've got these two tubes from Environ. These are great. These are great. So these go on uh, sometimes as serums. One of them is called, it's called a Youth Essential, Essential A uh, Sequence Serum 1. And this is defence cream. So I do one pump of each of those and these are a good serum um high high vitamin content of, of uh, vitamins in these formulations and a nice defense cream as well so these are good as serums day or night so i do highly recommend those and i use them again a bit pricey but really good and then at night i also there's a bit of um that's left over that's an environ night cream i've also got welida day creams in pomegranates the firming i use the firming because i'm in my 50s now the, the pomegranate firming is my selection 
Um, I've also got their firming eye cream, the Walida eye cream. This is also pomegranate. Uh, let's put a bit of that on. So I think, you know, because I've just I joined Walida in January, I'm really all over it. And then there was a time when I was all over Tropic and then there was a time I was all over Neil's Yard. Um, and then I throw in, you know, these Environ serums. I've also got a really nice serum from Oskia. This is a retinol serum that I love. I've just thrown away. I'm not thrown away. I've just had my last pumps, actually, of a Medicate retinol as well. So I use the retinols at night and this Oskia retinol at night. Um, I use... I use, I've got this pomegranate oil. I use that on my scar from my wound from post-transplant. Uh, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about face. Um, there's so many. I've got some Ayurvedic oils. This company here are nice. They're called um, Ayura. They're an Ayurvedic. I've got a few of their oils, but I also gave them to my son. He likes them. Pie, I've got a nice little oil from them. I've got Garden of Wisdom. I've got their Super Bacuchiol oil from Garden of Wisdom. That's a nice oil. So these, these a few drops, like a pump or a few drops of these go on after my moisturiser. I've also got a serum from Haeckel's. I do like Haeckel's. This is an Algae Plump B3 serum. If I fancy a little, that's at night, I'd do that one. Um, I've got a Haeckel's broccoli oil. Let's use that today, shall we? Let's mix a little bit of the Haeckel's, a couple of drops of the Haeckel's broccoli with a little bit of my Tropic Super Greens. The Super Greens has broccoli in it and kale and uh, tamanu. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil at the end. And that gives me my full, full dewy, radiant glow that I, that I like for my skincare. I like that, not oily, greasy. It's not oily, greasy, but it's definitely, um, what's the, you know, like hydrated. Um, I've got some, what else have I got? Um, I've got an, like this, also this product called um, Skin Dream with plant ceramides and I um, can't see without my glasses, but there's some really, really fantastic products in, in this Skin Dream by Tropic. I use that at night sometimes, as well as um, the, the, with the skin food. So I do, I like to mix products up, mix them together. Okay, I think that's kind of everything that I've got, but there are loads more here. I mean, I don't need to show you everything, but there, there are a few more collected oils that I've got. Uh, what's that one? Uh, there's a rose hip seed. Oh, actually, there's um, there's an orange flower facial oil from Neil's Yard. And I've got a, a rose hip seed oil from Neil's Yard as well. I've also got here um, from Bamford, their, their nurturing face oil. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. This That is really gorgeous. Um, and yeah, and I make my own. So there's also, I've got a doctor, I've had a Dr. Hauschka facial oil, which I really, really like, but that's a, a homemade blend in there of a few different oils. So I've made my own little remedy. Um, okay, so that's that. Look, can I just talk quickly about masks? So different masks that I've got. This one from Evolve. I like Evolve masks. They have this little miracle. It's a three minute miracle mask. I just get that on from time to time. Just get it on. Um, I've got a mask uh, also from Evolve. That's a gold mask uh, that I really enjoy. Oh no, that's, that's the miracle mask as well. Sorry, that's the three minute miracle mask. Downstairs, I've got their gold mask. Downstairs in my training room, uh, in treatment room, I have got another whole range. I mean, I should do a whole new video of showing you around all the products in my uh, in my room. Oh my God. I mean, ridiculous, but fabulous. This is a Focus Care Youthful Biobotanical Revival Mask from Environ. And that goes on on a Sunday. 
Um, yeah, there are other masks here, but I won't go into it. Um, I think that's I think that's all I need to share with you about masks. But there are lots. That, and, and then Tropic have three different masks. Uh, Tropic have also got this fruit peel. This is good. This is a, an alpha hydroxy, very gentle um, exfoliant at night. That I, I like that product. It's nice. It's a, it's a gentle fruit peel that um, I put on periodically. But let me talk about my gadgets now. So the gadgets, I'm just going to take this water out a sec. So I've got a few gadgets and I mean, there's, like I said, there's, there's loads of other stuff that I could show you, but um, let me just get out this gadget. I didn't say gadget, I mean, gadget's like the wrong word. What, let's call them supportive, I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with a word. I've got loads of gua sha here. So the gua sha is probably the main vibe. This is nice gua sha and I've started, this is like quite thick. Um, I've also got these ampules of snail, snail juice <laughs> that my friend gave me and she's an aesthetician. She gave me some uh, snail juice ampules to put on my face as well. But let me show you some of the, um, what is the word? I can't think of the word, oh, God, bloody menopause. I can't think of the word without it being gadgets. Um, tools, instruments, I don't know. I'll come up with the word in a minute. But so what I've had for a while, this is called New Face. It's called Mini New Face. And it is a, it needs charging. This is a um, little micro current. Surprise, actually, because I, I charged it a while, uh, not so long ago. But this is um, a micro current that you just go along uh, your jawline, and it it sends a little micro current to the muscle to tone it, lift it, and improve uh, the surface and appearance of fine lines. So I like this little tool, and I'm going to just put this by so I can charge that up. Um, and then I've got the derma rollers. So the derma roller, I know that this is the reason why I'm making this video because I've told a couple of you about getting derma rollers. I love derma rollers. And now I've got oils and stuff on my face. I don't really want to do it, but I shall show you it. Uh, now this is a 0.5 because I've been derma rolling for a number of years, actually. I started my derma rolling career about three or four years ago now. Uh, that's so funny. But um, this is a 0.5, but I would start with a 0.25. Make sure it's titanium and make sure it's uh, 500, it's a 540, 540 needles, 540 needles. And what you do is, you, yeah, I'm not going to do it while I've got oil on, but you um, start with a 0.25. And what you're going to do is start with your face and you go in one direction and then you come off and cross and cross and move it and crisscross and crisscross, rolling on your face a bit. Let me just show you so that you can see this way. And that way and don't twist it and drag because you'll scratch yourself so you do it this way and that way i love going over my lips like that and then i've got this little bit of eczema here that just won't go away it's really weird it just won't go i put all sorts on so yeah as long as you do this crisscross this way and this way and this way be careful on your head because it's quite um bony here this can be a little bit prickly, so just be careful on your head. Go gentle, but I do here and here. So all the targeted areas and then a little bit on my face, on my cheeks, not too much because it's quite, it's quite ten, not tender, but it's quite, you know, gentle and uh, delicate, shall I say. So I just go, um, you know, gently, Gentle, but with conviction, so not too light. You want to actually make the um, channels, and this causes a little micro trauma and little channels in the surface of your skin, and then you put your serums on. Um, I wouldn't advise doing it in the morning with your vitamin C because the vitamin C has an ascorbic acid in it that can make it quite prickly, so don't do that. Um, I would do it at night with hyaluronic acid, um, and not on the days that you're going to use your retinols. So I don't use retinol every day at all. And so I use this with a hyaluronic acid. I find it this is the best um, 
partner for hyaluronic. There's also peptides that you can use it with as well, but not with your vitamin C or your retinol. So on those alternate days, I'd probably do it twice a week, two or three times a week, something like that. Uh, and I'm, I don't sort of do it like a facial. I just sort of do it like I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> but it's great. I really like that. Sometimes it can look a little bit like you're sunburned, but I do it at night so it goes down. And then the next thing, uh, of course, is the very gorgeous Gua Sha. And this is just the one I've got up here. I have got a few pieces. I've got this one. I've got a little piece of carnelian here. That's a nice piece. But so there's two ways of using Gua Sha. And Gua Sha is you can use it to stimulate blood flow, in which case you're doing it in a nice, firm, circular movement. What I always do and what I always teach is, first of all, that you would drain. So you drain down from the top, just almost like combing your face down towards the terminus. And the terminus of the thoracic ducts are just above the clavicle. So you want to open up because there's two ways of using Gua Sha. Gua Sha is good for lymphatic drainage and then it's also good for blood and chi. So if I want to get more blood into an area and get some more oxygenated blood and chi so for radiance and vitality i'm doing this circular movement you can also do flicking movements so i have got loads of videos on my channel here that does that but this circular movement is very good and then very lightly you drain you drain this is the super light into the lymphatics because the lymphatics lie superficially in the skin. So that you do super light. And so constantly, constantly trying to sort of sculpt my jaw. Um, the steroids that I take post kidney transplant have, have sort of ballooned my face and uh, in increased my face. Now there's, there's a good and a bad to that is that it's not great because it's given me a sort of bit of a ballooned look of my face um, of which you know, it's not ideal, is it? But I'm not going to I'm not going to complain when I've had a kidney transplant. It's absolutely fantastic. And I am completely in awe of that. Um, but, you know, and then and then draining and draining and draining. But what it <laughs> the other benefit is that huh, it's actually sort of filled out some of my lines. It's filled out some lines. But anyway, um, but I'm, I like to sort of drain around my jawline just to sort of keep fighting for the jawline. Um, so nice and light, light. I'm doing it a bit quicker than I actually would because I'm just showing you. Well, actually, I do the circles. I do this quick, actually. And then drain. And then I've got this new. Oh, my goodness. I just love this tool, this thick tool. And again, the thickness really helps for good lymphatics. And I like this around under my eyes and just pull and you can sort of pump. And this is just great for lymphatic drainage underneath the eyes. Sorry, I'm looking in the wrong place. I'm looking at myself and I should be looking at the camera, camera lens. But this is really nice for, for that. And pulling. And pulling. Pulling here. Uh, the other side of this, I mean, I've been doing this facial training with a fantastic lady who's been teaching me a lot of, you know, acupressure and facial techniques around the face, but using a lot of acupressure and these points. Sanjiao points and behind here, behind you've got lymphatics and acupoints, gallbladder meridian, and then there's the Chan Chi Sabai stomach points. There's also a point here in the masseter, so you can use these ends here to massage. These points, the side of the mouth, here, in the groove here, Jing Ming here, Bladder Meridian, and then going back to just the lovely, the stimulating acupoints on the face is so good for stimulating chi 
energy flow, which improves skin quality and radiance. Appliances, is that the word? Appliances is not the word. Tools, appliances. I bet you're shouting the word to me at the moment. So that's that. The next thing, let me show you. Tool, this is a fantastic tool I've got. This is um, Red Light for Skin Cellular Renewal Repair Encouragement. This is from Solar Wave. And this, again, you just glide around your face. But it's not machines. It's not a machine. It's a tool. It's a gadget. And again, really good. Because I don't have any lip filler. And I'm, I'm trying to sort of really work on this little bit of eczema here. But it just won't go away. Give it some red light. Uh, in fact, you should use this with your serum rather than the oil. But I think it's okay. Lovely under the eyes. So this also gives a little bit of heat and a little bit of a microcurrent as well as... The red light, it's a great gadget from so <coughs> Solar Wave. I really like it. I mean, you can get those Amaze Balls, Dermalux, you know, and the masks. And somebody showed me a really good mask. I can't remember what it's called in a minute. What was it called? Cell. Mm. Something cell. So. It's a proper full on mask, like a full on headgear mask. Anyway, don't need to watch me doing that. And then you just clean it off afterwards. But I like that, that little handheld red light. Love that. Um, I think that's it. I think these these um, under eye, let me just show you these, these little, these are actually very good. These are from Tropic as well. These sort of under eye masks. About? These under eye masks are very nice. Must put one of those on. Uh, soon and then some more firming night cream from Walida pomegranate so it's a bit of everything it's a bit of everything and everything and everything just love uh, trying and experimenting oops these are the um these are the snail ampules how many have I got left I've got four left snail regenerating ampules from All Skin Med. Yeah, really nice. It doesn't smell of snail or anything like that. So I'm going to leave that with you. And hopefully there's something there for you that you could um, get. There's little vibrating tools, these little massage tools. You know, you can sort of just work those in as well. Basically, we want to be massive. There's nothing quite like a facial massage, though. Let's face it. I mean, really, let's face it. So do come and have a facial with me. This is not a plug to have a facial with me, but do come and have a facial with me because you'll find that actual facial, manual facial massage really is the best. That is the best um, for radiance uplifting with my lovely facial oils and other uh, products uh, I use in my facials. I use Walida um and some other bits and pieces but um yeah i would say that facial massage and you know all the sculpting and everything that you can get in a face in my facial massage really is the best so goodness that is now a whole 34 minutes and i think that there's plenty there to be getting on with so i hope that that helps if you've got any additional questions um like if something wasn't covered enough in this video then I can home in and specialize and do something um, like I could home in on one there is there is a um, I think there is a video but it's probably about three years ago on my feed on this channel um, of my derma roller um, where I do a proper derma roller it may, it may not be even that far away but have a look through you could even put a google search in derma roller demonstration Anna Jyoti Lowe and that probably come up and uh, and show you. 
So anyway, if you've got any questions, if you want any products, if you want me to point you in the direction, I mean, I buy my derma roller from, um, it was from Amazon and it's a company called, it's something like ZGGT or something like that. Is it called ZGGT? Something like that. And it looks like that. It's not gold, it's, it's, it's plastic, but yeah, it's a titanium, um 540 this is a 0 0.5 if you're if you've been dermarolling for a while go for the 0.5 if it's your first uh it's a 0.25 and these rollers i would say you know they can last maybe three three months three or four months um i think i've had that one a bit longer to be fair um but yeah you know for then, then you switch so you could use a 0.25 for um, a few months and then um, and then switch to a 0.5 and see how you go it shouldn't hurt and if it is hurting you, you're not you're not uh, you're not on you, you're going too too strong or too deep so it shouldn't it shouldn't be ouchy painful so please don't hurt yourself and don't put it on with oil make sure that you've got a dry face or a sort of clean dry face for your um, derma roller for the needles don't put the needles on with oil um, because you'll get like a little little reaction. Okay, I shall leave it there for now. And um, like I said, there's there's so much that I'd love to share with you, but uh, I'd be here for probably about three hours. <laughs> so lots of love. Thank you so much for watching. And any questions, get in touch. Check out my Facebook, not Facebook, yeah, Facebook, Instagram at the School of Fine Tuning. Check out my um uh, YouTube channel. Well, you're here, so check out more videos. And now I'm going to brush my teeth. Lots of love. Bye.